Spreadshirt has dropped some of my favorite sodas in the last couple years. Uh, I really like their cherry soda. One of my favorites, the grape soda. Pretty good. A lot of them, again, a lot of them really good. The orange stream, phenomenal. Check out that video here. It's, it's got a really nice flavor to it. One of their newest releases was their Honeycrisp Apple Soda. I see this advertised on their website. I was really intrigued by it. I was like, oh, good apple soda. Wait, they have that. But they did something different. They, they could have re-released it. Could have. Didn't. They decided, let's, let's do the other apple. There's many apples, many apple flavors, many different combinations. So, how is it? Let's go and taste it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fast Talk, the Fast Review Show, where I talk about Fast, we talk and faster about it. I'm really excited for this one, so let's just get into it. Also, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Wood Orchard LLC, Door County, Wisconsin. Fun fact about this, there is 50% apple juice in this, which is very interesting. I, a lot of their sodas range around like 2 or 5% when it comes to like juice content, because they do a lot of natural flavors, and it is sweetened with honey. A lot of the sodas are actually brewed with honey, which gives it a nice, unique flavor. <laughs> Smell-wise, has a very apple juice smell to add with like a, like a candy smell to it. Honeycrisp has, has a very sweet smell to it, very sweet tasting. So off the bat, it really should have that. It really does capture it. Even goes by adding a little something else to it. Yeah, very sweet, very much a candy taste to it in a good way. Really fun way, I like this a lot. There's a lot of good flavor in here. It's just very sweet, but it has a nice good flavor to it. It's not overly sweet though. It just has something really that I really like. Definitely would recommend. Yeah. yeah. It is very different from the other, the other episode of that one. It's very much more tones, a little more tart too. So you want something more of that from that apple, could you go get that one. The bottle design is a little wanting. I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I don't like it when they do this. They seem to have a identity crisis when it comes to labeling. A lot of Spectre sodas is ornated with some animal. I really like it. Um, the regular Spectre has more cartoony, like Reaper wise has like a very cartoony. So the Reaper has a very cartoony like griffin to it. This one goes for more of like the medieval one. I kind of wish they had something like a uh, a snake or something, or something a little different, like something interesting that like another animal, I don't know if they just thought they ran out of animals. There's plenty of animals, like kind of an anteater or something like, the green is nice, it's really, I can get really what I caught there. So I would definitely recommend this 10 out of 10. I, there's something with this that really, like, everyone needs to try this one. I really hope uh, the soldier come back, he's really intrigued by him and I were talking about one of his retro reviews. Overall, I really like this one. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You can find a video popping up here and a playlist of recommended videos by YouTube. Again, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and you guys can check me out at FT underscore Fast Talk Reviews, where I'm doing Adam and right now. Go check it out. I'm a couple days behind, but I'll catch up here soon. Uh, I also have a podcast, Long Distance Pizza Party Podcast on Pizza Party Pod, on uh, no social platforms, and here on YouTube. Guys, have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe, people. Peace.